Everyone has seen the destruction and devastation a hurricane can cause on land. From Katrina to Wilma to Francis to Andrew, Mother Nature's fury can change the landscape almost overnight. But what's interesting, and until now relatively unstudied, is how a hurricane can change the underwater environment as well. Two researchers at Nova Southeastern University's Oceanographic Center decided to look at how a passing storm can affect life under the ocean's surface. Dr. Matthew Johnston and Dr. Sam Perkis focused their efforts in seeing how storms can change the ocean currents and if those changes can help accelerate the spread of an invasive, non-native species through the Florida Straits. Specifically, their research zeroed in on the lionfish, a non-native species that has been wreaking havoc on South Florida's reefs for nearly three decades. For me, I was really curious as to how they made it from Florida to the Bahamas because we've always heard there's this very distinct uh, connectivity break between the two. And I had done a lot of modeling using currents before, but I always used monthly means, which kind of factor out these velocity anomalies. And so I, I knew that there were a lot of hurricanes that hit the region in 2004, 2005. And so that's kind of where my curiosity was. was so there, there are about, there are at least 30 documented, uh, mostly aquarium fish species. There's some groupers, there's a panther grouper, there's a peacock hind. There are various species of tangs, which all of these are very popular in the aquarium industry, and that's probably where they came from. The one that I'm most concerned about, and this was not an aquarium fish, is, was the Asian tiger shrimp. These uh, have been sighted since, I, I believe in the, the 90s or so is when they first found them, and they were released uh, by accident from a lab. And they've started to show up in greater numbers over the past maybe five years or so. And these are very large, aggressive shrimp which prey on our native species. And I am quite concerned that this is going to, they're going to follow the path of the lion. Uh, th this was really a, a very logical uh, progression of, of a lot of work that Matt did before the study on hurricanes. And it was a fantastic uh, idea that he came up with and I encouraged him to investigate it further and run with it. And I think he, he's discovered something with uh, profound importance. So I'm very proud of him. Well, the, the practical application is to uh, understand what happened better. It's not that you can turn back the clock and prevent the accident, but you could perhaps prevent it from happening it again. I think it's debatable now with how uh, effectively the lionfish have invaded the, the Atlantic waters that it could ever be brought under control. But what Matt's done is shown a very important mechanism which, through which the invasive species spreads. And I think there's lessons to be learned for other uh, species, there's many other invasive species um, uh, offshore Florida, but also in other parts of the world, which are, you know, at risk of being invade, invaded by the lionfish. So it's really a learning um, experience, and uh, the take-home message is very clear. Somewhere beyond the sea. Somewhere waiting for me My lover stands on golden sands And watches the ships that go sailing Somewhere beyond the sea